a very random haul today. Right now beside me I've got a giant, you know one of those big huge home bargains bags, like the big massive ones. I've got this sitting, it's been accumulating for a while. I'm not going to lie to you, I know what's on the top. I went to a jumbo sale today, they don't call it a jumbo sale, do they call it a tabletop sale, but it's a jumbo sale, it was in a church and it's definitely a jumbo sale. Got some cool stuff, also was there on Saturday. I think some of the stuff's in there. If it's not, don't worry, because I think I'm going back to the jumbo sale. This is Monday, and I'm going back on Wednesday, so I'll probably have more stuff to add. So anything that's not in here from that, I'll just add to that. So I'll have another haul of our jumbo sale type haul. I'm doing this again with my hands. Anyway, I'm going to get started. So like I said, stuff on the top, jumbo sale, and as it's going down, can't really remember what is in the bag. Not going to lie to you, so we'll just sort of go through it together. Right, first thing I got was this. I love this little jumbo sale we go to. It's just, I just love it. Everything's like really cheap. This is £2, which doesn't seem really cheap, but some of the stuff I got was like, in fact, there is other stuff because I got cake case things and they were like 10 pence each. Anyway, this is £2, which I still think was pretty good. It's a Ted Baker. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that for the glare, but it's a Ted Baker little gift set and it's got one, two, three, four bottles of perfume in it. I don't, I'm kind of fussy when it comes to perfume and I normally wear body spray instead of perfume, but I thought these would be good as little, I usually use like little perfumes and stuff like that. Like, I'm going to say bougie air fresheners rather than like the big air freshener in my bathroom. I usually use like little glass bottles, that kind of thing. Thought that would be good for this. However, they're not sprays. They're like, you know, the kind you kind of dab on. So I'll have a sniff of them and if I don't like them, I shall pass them on to Davina and her friends. Davina probably won't wear these. Anyway, my daughter and her friends, maybe I'll, I'll see if they want them if none of the smells I like because I'm kind of fussed with it. I've got bags down here. I think these are Aldi bags. Aldi are empty bags down here. I'm organised this time. I'm getting it. I'm doing good and I'm going to put the stuff in the bags. So to save me. Normally when I do I just kind of chuck it all down and then if when I finish filming I can barely stand up for all the mess round about me. So I'm a bit more organised. This, I do not, it just says aromatherapy and it says lavender. I don't know the brand. It's body lotion. It was 30 pence at the little jumbo sale. And I don't know, I, I smelled it when I was there and it smells so lovely. It's so, like, lavender goodness and I love everything lavender. I really think that I'm like an old lady at heart. I love everything old lady. Anyway, love this really strong lavender and 30 pence and I thought I'll use it. And I, although it could have been used, nobody's like put their hands in it. So it's like just going on, do you know what I mean? So it's not really unhygienic. Plus, if I get body lotions and I'm like maybe... I know some people panic about them being out of date or whatever. I'll just use them for my feet, but this does smell really nice, so I got that. And this was definitely new, it was um, sealed, and this is Nivea Body Lotion, irresistibly smooth, and it's shea butter for dry skin, and this, like I said, is brand new, and I think this one was a pound, um, but still for Nivea, that's pretty good. This couldn't, hold on, I think I've got some more. Oh, right, I can't resist. I've got a thing, you know I like the, the vintage slips and things, well I also like any sort of vintage lingerie, is that how you pronounce it? Lingerie? 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 Anyway, you know what I mean, slips and stuff like that, anything vintage, I just, I love it, it gives me like, I don't know, I like, I get all excited, I love it, so I picked these up, these I think actually might have came from, I'm not sure if these came from, no I'm pretty sure these did come, I'm thinking that these maybe came from the child shop, no, but I think I did get these from the little jumbo sale. I don't know how much these are because some of this stuff they just kind of grouped all together as a pound so all of these were definitely cheaper than a pound because I got them grouped together but these these are tights like vintage tights. I'm not sure if these, these might be stockings actually I'm not sure if these are tights or stockings but they're new. These are it says ribbed tights with fully ribbed body and it says made in Italy and it says fine lady but you can see in the, in the colour olive so they're like a really dark greeny olive colour. I just love even the packaging, everything to get vintage types that old in their original packaging. I just think is so awesome. So got them, and then I got these ones again. I'm not sure. This doesn't really say. It just says Domino, and you can tell by the packaging it's very, very vintage. But it's all sealed, and they're brand new, and they're still in there. You know, like with the cardboard sleeve thing inside it. And I think these are black, but I'm not sure. Like a kind of barely black. Anyway, don't know if they're types or stockings, but I couldn't resist them. And these ones are sheer. And again, I think these are tights. Yes, I'm pretty sure they're tights because that looks like the body there. And they're just sheer tights and you can tell by the packaging that they're vintage. So very, very happy with those. These I got, 
how much of these? Oh, these were 50 pence. I got another pair of little earrings, but I gave them to Davina's little friend. They were um, pink ones. I got them thinking that they might be silver, but the pink ones weren't silver, and I don't you know, I can't wear, I can only wear gold or silver earrings, so they weren't any good. However, these ones, the backs on them are not silver, so I'm going to just, I'll just use the backs from like silver earrings I've got. So the backs are not silver, but the earrings themselves are silver and they're stamped, so I can in fact wear these. And for 50 pence for real silver earrings, it's pretty good. And I don't know if, it, I think it's my mother of pearl, I think it is. It looks iridescent here, I don't know. See, I'm like, oh, reach over. I don't know how close I need to get, I don't know if you can see that, but they're like little wiggly mother of pearl earrings. Why am I putting them up there? Yes, I should put them up there. I'm thinking don't put them in the bag because I'll end up losing them. Mark picked this up for me. He went to, so the little jumbo say thing is on during the day and I went today with my mum and my sister. I'm talking 100 miles an hour, sorry. <sighs> Take a breath. Um, I went with my mum and my sister today and then Mark and Alexander went along tonight and they picked up a couple of bits and this was one of the things Mark picked up for me tonight. And this is new, it looks like it's been a little gift set, maybe like an unwanted Christmas present or something, but it's still got the, what do you call it? plastic wrapper stuff on the side of it and it's one of those little sleep masks and then the little water bottle with the little water bottle cover thing and I just think that's really cute and I like the colour it's very nice and it's like bright yellow on the other side which I thought was nice so little gift set thing I don't actually know how much he paid for it but non much it was probably pretty cheap this is another body lotion again in lavender calming lavender body cream and this was 60 pence and it's originally from Avon it says Avon aromatherapy so there was that and it smells very nice I smelled it this was I can't remember how much it was it was either 50 pence or 60 pence or it was really really cheap and it's a silver tray not real silver however it is pretty heavy I also got another tray just realized that's in my sink soaking Um, again I'll put it in with the other stuff so you'll see it at some point I just really like these I like these for sitting on my coffee table or on my dining table and just sitting like candles or little plants on them. I use these trays all over the place. They're also good for, the other one I got is more for like food serving. However, this one is a little bit, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's a little bit, I don't know if it's tarnished or just scratched on the base of it. So, and the bottom as well. So I probably won't use this one for serving food, whereas the other one's like completely smooth. It just needed a really good clean. However, this one, it not only is it thick with dust, it is, however, scratched on the bottom, but it's very ornate around the edges. And I thought once you've got things sitting on it, you're not actually going to see it. You're just going to see the prettiness around the edges. So, got that. I really love jumbo sales that you can get stuff so cheap. Right, so these little baggies are, they were £10 each and they were in the toy section bit. So, my son was looking at the toy thing and I was looking at him saying, do you want one of these back? And we ended up getting about 10 of them. So he's got them, uh, they're probably scattered all over the house by now. So he got them loads of like little Lego things in them and whatever, and they were 10 pence each. But I saw a couple that I liked, and this one is Hello Kitty Tin, and it's probably came in some sort of little gift set or set thing. But it's literally, literally it looks like a little cupcake, and it's got Hello Kitty on the front and I just thought it was really cute and I have no idea what I'm going to put in that. You could maybe put some like mints in it and carry it in your handbag. See anything you can put stuff in, especially if it's cutesy, I just, I love it and I love things like that from a handbag. This, I don't know what it is, it, it says honey moist gel and the rest of the writing is all in Chinese. And I don't know, so I don't really know what it's for. I think it's been things that have maybe came from, sorry about the rustling. I think it's maybe been things that have came from maybe like hotel freebies or something. Because this says honey drop soap. So, and it's like a little round bar of soap. Again, this was all in a bag, so this was all 10 pence. And I just thought, I'll get it and see what it is. Honey cleansing gel. It does say on the front what it is, but not how to use it or the, the, everything else is... In, well it's not Chinese, it's Japanese. Everything else is in Japanese, so I don't really know what they are. So I'm not sure how far we're gonna go before. I think I'll maybe like fill up one of these bags and then I'll make that one video and then maybe carry on because this is a giant bag and it just, I've sort of taken the stuff off the top and it just seems not very much emptier. Um, let me see, oh, I don't even know if I really meant to put these in here. I've got these lip balms, these, this is from Home Bargains. See, there's just been stuff piled on top of stuff and top of stuff. So I'm really desperate to get this filmed, not only because I haven't put a video out for ages, but because I really need to get rid of this giant bag that has been sitting, it was up in my bedroom and then it's been sitting in my living room for, I don't know, two days, I think two days. I've been saying, right, okay, I'm gonna film now and 
every time something comes up. Anyway, these are from, I think they're like the Home Bargain Zone brand thing, it's Derma V10, and they're just lip balms, two in the original, one in the strawberry, and these were something like 79 or 89 pence for three lip balms, so I thought that was good. I shall put them over there actually, not in the other jar. Um, let me see, there's only two other things, I don't know why those little things were taken up an entire plastic bag. These are the peppermint oils from, I think these are £1.49 and these are from Home Bargains again. These are really, really good. You get these in where you get like the plasters and the first aid kind of stuff. Well, that's what it is in my Home Bargains anyway. They're so good for cleaning. I use, I put this in like I clean it. I don't know if you can hear that. My daughter, honestly, for such, such a small girl, she makes a racket. She sounds like an elephant walking up the stairs, honestly. She makes some amount of noise. So if you hear noise in the background, it is Divina trampling about like an elephant. Anyway, peppermint oils, really, really good for cleaning. They're good for, I think you can put them in like your oil burners and stuff as well, but however, I use them for cleaning. I put them in like spray bottles. I also put them in with my carpet cleaner, in my carpet cleaner, but I put some of this in and the smell really, really lasts. Like where your carpet cleaner kind of fades away, this still lasts, it just, it smells good. And see, even just to get it and just sprinkle it on your rugs and stuff, it's really, really good. So got those. My rugs are dark, let me just say, just in case anyone sprinkles that and they're like, oh, it's stained my rug. So I don't know how it would be on light rugs, but it's just kind of oil. Anyway, dark rugs, just in case I get the blame for ruining anybody's rugs. Right, I see one shoe and I don't know where the other shoe is. I'm assuming it's in there somewhere, but I'll just go ahead and show you this. This is from the charity shop. See, we're all over the place. These were, I'm sure these were £4.99, which was quite dear, but I did think they were very nice and they looked almost new in really good condition. And these are Red or Dead and they're flip-flops, but they're like velvet, velvet and then sort of linen. They're just very weird and they've got a sort of slight wedge and they looked a bit nautical and I thought they would be good for going to our upcoming holiday to North Berwick and another pair they only charged me $1.99 for these which I thought was really good because they look and you can see I sort of cleaned the bottom of this one but didn't clean the bottom of this one just to see if what was on it would clean up and it did clean up so this one's kind of dirty and this one had a little bit of a wipe but they've not had like a proper good clean yet these are from River Island, they look like, they've still got the stickers on the bottom, so they look like they've maybe been worn once, but they're so pretty, they're all jeweled on the front, and they're just, I would show you the dirty one, wouldn't I? Yes, I think I have. Anyway, they're just all jeweled in beads, and they're just really, really pretty, and I thought they would be really nice. I don't think these are ones that I would walk in for ages and ages. Kind of out of practice, I'm wearing flip-flops. It takes me a while to get back into it. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I can hear myself, I'm like, why are you walking around the flip-flops? Yeah, it takes me a while to get back into the swing of wearing flip-flops again, but not ones I would walk about in, but ones to maybe wear with a little dress and look pretty in the sun. These I couldn't resist because they were 3 99 These are brand new and they are a size 5. They fit me really, really well. What a brand are they? Their, um, profile? I don't know what that is. They're leather. They're brand new. They're leather. And they were 3 99 and they're just a really plain... Can you hear that? That's now my rabbit taking a drink. I'm telling you, I'm not even going to stop because every time I go to film my video, something happens, so I'm just going to keep going. They're just like a mule, I think that's what you call it, type thing, with a bit of a wedge, and they're just black leather, and I thought they would go with a lot of stuff. I don't know why I'm just showing you one of every shoe. The other shoe is in there. I thought I was going to have to, like, dig for it, but anyway, it's right in there. Right, oh, this is from the Jumbo Sale. This, I thought, was a really, really good deal. I can't remember if she charged me a pound for this or two pound. It might have been two pound, but even for two pound, it was a really good deal. And I think this wouldn't have been still sitting there had people have known what was in it. So it was just sitting like that. And beside it was another couple of just plain makeup bags, like empty makeup bags. So I think people thought it was just another empty makeup bag. However, it is a little, it does say, I saw the little thing, where is it, on the zip, and it said Clinique. And I was like, ooh. And I had to be a look. And it is a little... It says clinic bonus so i don't know if this has been like a gift to purchase or this has been a little gift set but it's got what is it blushing blush powder so it's got blush everything in here is brand new it's never been touched i think it's been like an unwanted gift or something so it's got the blush so what else they got let me see so this is good even if it was the two pound which i'm not we'll just say it was two pound it was either two, a pound or two pound but even for two pound it was good it says let me see repair wear uplifting firming cream so it's got um the little tub of cream and it's got the little tub of the dramatically different moisturizer i've had that before and i really like it. i've had that in the full size before and i really like it and then it's got let me see wrinkle and uv damage corrector 
and the little, look how cute these little bottles are. I love mini bottles and stuff. Got that, and then this, oh, look at that little jar. It's so cute. Where are we? All about eyes, rich. So I'm assuming it is reduces circles and reduces circles, puffs. Um, yeah, circles and puffs. Anyway, yes, little tub of cream. So I thought that was really, really good. I think that's all that's in there. That was really good for two pounds because clinic stuff is pretty dear. But I do actually like clinic st stuff. I've used a few things before. I think the only thing I've used out of those things was the. I think it's called Dramatically Different Moisturiser, the one, the little yellow moisturiser, and I liked it, so I'm really happy to get that. Somebody must have bought it and not wanted it. I'll set that over there. Right, let me see. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to see if I've got... Oh, I'm trying to get as much of the like jumbo sale stuff as I can. Oh, this is from the jumbo sale. I got this one on Saturday. I've opened it just to see what it looked like. I think this has been kicking about in somebody's drawer for quite a long time because the packaging, it was sealed, but the packaging is like bashed at the corners and everything. So I think it's been probably like kicking about in somebody's drawer for ages. It says by Boho Beach Ibiza and it's it's basically tattoos. It's like um, metallic kind of tattoos, but it shows you they are, they just look so cool. I'm trying to hold it so you can see like without the glare. They just look really, really cool. And there's sheets and sheets of them. There's loads of them and they're all different designs and they're really pretty. And it looks like, where's the one that I really like? There was an Aztec one that looked really cool and I can't find it now. They're just, they're, I just really like the designs. There's a big thick, that one, the big Aztec one. I think I really like that. So I thought they would be really nice for wearing instead of jewellery like I was thinking that you know if I was getting like dressed up or whatever I would just wear that or I can't put them back in so we'll just go and shop them in there I thought they'd be nice for either wearing on the beach or just wearing as, like for a night out or something instead of jewellery just for something a bit different this was sitting on the wee table at the jumbo sale and it's uh, it's Yardley's it looks like I saw that I just assumed it was a like a bar of soap can you hear that I don't even know what she's doing I don't know if she's playing with the dogs and maybe that's the thumping, but oh my goodness, there's some racket. Yes, I thought this was a box of soap and I opened it up to smell the soap because it's lavender and I love lavender. And it's not a box of soap, it is in fact, I think there's 10, does it say 10? Yeah, 10 little packets of, so it's individual little packets of towels and let me see, refreshing tissues they call it. And I just thought these would be really cool again for my handbag. I mean as if I need any more cutesy stuff for my handbag, but I thought they would be good. It wouldn't take up a lot of room just for carrying about in your handbag, just to like wipe your hands or whatever. And I'm assuming given that they say, ooh, lavender on it, they, they smell of lavender. So I got them for my handbag and I can't remember how much they were. They've actually, I think they've got a, TJ Hughes it says a, a pound. So I think somebody's got them for a pound, but I think I've maybe got them for like 20 pence or something like that. In the, charity shop, not the charity shop, the jumbo sale. This I got for 50 pence and it is a little, I don't know, it just says original can I'm not sure where this came from. Original candle co. This is an scent exotic mango and it smells really nice. Anything mango, Mark Smith says, smells like cat wee. So every time I smell it, I'm like, what's the level of cat wee? There's somebody's like, no, that's quite nice. And other ones, he's like, oh, it stinks. So whenever I smell this, I'm literally gauging, like, what is the level of cat wee? Is he going to be like, oh, this one's not too bad. He even smelled it yourself and he said, no, that doesn't, oh, no, wait a minute, a little bit. But it was pretty low down on the scale, on the cat wee scale, so it's pretty accepting of that. So not that I need these permission to burn candles or anything, but you don't want them thinking that your house smells like cat wee. Right, are we going to keep going? Have I been filming for long enough? Let me see. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is, I mean, that's just one of the bags inside the bag. Hold on, I see stuff from the... Oh more stuff from the jumbo sale this has still got this little original sticker on it but like original original sticker on it either that or something's transferred oh now i'm gonna have to try and get that off it's left a little mark okay i got can you see this hold on so this chair that i'm sitting on and then see this how exact is that this is like that pink cord kind of i don't know what you call it it's not velour is it velour no you know what I mean? Like old fashioned furniture, like this chair is made of it. It's that kind of material and it's got the little the little boy and the little girl and I just think they're so sweet. These are filthy, like the white bits on them have just collected so much dust in the top and this bit here is just thick with dust. And we take it outside tomorrow, tomorrow's be a nice day. We take it outside, give it a good scrub and then just sit out in the sun to dry. 
but I just thought they were so cute and I couldn't resist because they were like almost a perfect match for my couch and they just went really well with my old lady couch, old lady living room vibe thing. So I got them and it was, it was these and something else for a pound. So it might have been one of the trays or something I got was a pound. So they were about 50 pence or something like that. <sighs> will I stop? Will I keep going? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hold on, I'll show this. I'll show this and then I'm going to stop, I think, and then we'll have more videos for another day. So, let me see. I'm going to just be quiet to let you see if you can hear that. Like, I can, my ceiling's actually creaking. I'm sure one day she's just going to come right through it. I honestly am. I don't know how she does it. I, I don't even think I could make that much noise if I tried. Anyway, I bought this for going on holiday to North Berwick. It's a first aid kit. I was going to make my own, just like get a little pouch and make my own, but I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to get this. It's easy. It's another thing ticked off the list. And I just, I got it. So it's a first aid kit. was from Home Bargains. It was 4 99 I think it was. I've taken a little tag thing off it just to open it and see what's in it. And it's pretty cool. It's got, I've lost, a left, I've left the wee tag, I've taken the tag thing off it that says what's in it. But basically you get plasters and bandages and wipes and tape and little, pack, little um, scissors and just everything you would need really. And gloves, there's gloves in there. Um, not that you really need gloves if you're, you know, just like patching your kids' grazed knees up. But, God, anyway, and I thought the good thing about this is you could add to it. There's enough space that you could add to it if you wanted. So I was thinking of putting, like, travel sickness pills in and some, maybe some headache tablets. And I definitely put it to Alexander because he's allergic to everything. He had a really bad reaction the other day and just, oh my goodness, it was the worst one he's had. His whole body was just bright red. He was itchy and we do not know what caused it. We can't think of anything that's touched or anything. Anyway, he just seems to have, he, he has reactions to things that we know of, but he also just, every so often will just come out and have really bad reactions. So we need to carry Peritone where, wherever we go. So that'll win the first aid kit. I'm just going to go just now because this is just, just so noisy. Anyway, I will wrap it up there. I'm sure there's more jumbo sale stuff in there. And like I said, I've got stuff steeping in my sink and I'm probably going back on Wednesday. So, I think that's everything. Is that everything? I think that might be everything. So I'm going to go just now and I will be back very, very soon. And hopefully, do you know, it doesn't, it's barely, there's like literally a little dent made in the bag. It's still full. I will empty it very, very soon. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.